unbelievable, unbelievable. 45 minutes to go 11 blocks. 45 minutes. Not to mention I almost killed the cab driver. You know what? I'm all for immigration, but we got to give them a copy of the Constitution and some deodorant. <laughs> and that's your excuse for being late? Excuse me, I don't need an excuse. I'm the boss. You see, I'm the boss here. Now, I know your people have a hard time working for a woman. No, not really. Oh, tell the truth. Yes, especially a black woman. <laughs> what do you mean, especially a black woman? Yeah, but you, you, you black women, you're so bossy. You know, do this, do that. Oh, I'm going to tell my man what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. We're not bossy. If you want bossy, you ought to try getting a manicure from one of them little Korean women. <laughs> yeah. Your nail no grow, get out. Your nail no grow, get out. <laughs> Shanakwa, well, what is that? It's Yadaviga. Whatever. What the hell is that? I lost a bet, so I am his slave for a day. Never get into a belching contest with a pig. Hey, <laughs> who are you calling pig, you handy wipe? Did you change your hair? Yes, I'm curling the ends now. I like it. It's bouncy. It's sweet. It's nice. <laughs> You're so sweet. Excuse me. Hello. You, take the can outside. You, come over here and tell me what the hell's going on. Black women. <laughs> Just making sure there's nothing suspicious on the sidewalk when the president drives by. The president's in oh. town? What, they do open a Hooters down here? Oh, that's why the traffic is so bad. I've got some tragic news. What? The donut shop is completely blocked off. I ain't worried about that, child. Because I got a whole stash of donuts in the back, don't I, Nassim? <laughs> Nassim! <laughs> Nassim! Walk. Mavis, have you seen my lemon yogurt? Yeah, I ate it. But I put my name on it. I know, I ate it anyway. Mavis, your petty selfishness is not going to ruin my special day. I'm going to see the presidential motorcade drive by. Do you like my tie? It's blue in honor of him. You know he likes blue ties. Courtney, it ain't like he's going to see you. You're just going to be another black and blue blur. Can I just enjoy my president in peace? Fine. I'm just saying, I find it quite annoying that he's stopping traffic and blocking it all up, acting like he's some kind of big shot. He's the president. According to whose ballot box? You didn't complain when President Clinton stopped traffic. That's because when he stopped traffic, he stopped it for the people. Same. Listen, Bill Clinton was the first president that even had a hint of color. He hung out in Harlem, played the saxophone, and when you touch that hair, it has a little bit of texture. And he likes white women. <laughs> That's what you think. Mavis, don't you think it's a bit shallow to like someone just because they act black? Yo, boo! Let's bounce. W's about to bust out 56. Come in, Cupcake. Shall I tell him you said hello? Hell no. You could tell him to stop by the UN, though, and apologize to Europe, starting with France. If you're so concerned, why don't you tell the president yourself? You think they're going to let me get within 50 feet of him? Let me tell you something. I don't give a fudgicle, because I speak my mind. Yeah, you preach it, my bossy Nubian queen. It's easy to say you'd speak your mind when you know you'll never get the chance. Like when we were kids, and you boasted about what you would have told the slave masters had you been alive. Yeah, I would have told them to kiss my black ass. I hear that. I would have said the same thing. But the point is, she didn't have to. And the truth is, she would have said what every slave said back then. Yes, massa, and no, massa. Why, you know you's probably right. But I think y'all better take your behinds outside because Master fixer to go by and not wave to you. Don't listen to her, Courtney. She's just being ironical and stuff. You're right. Let's bounce. Ironical and stuff? Yay. This is 
an emergency. We need to use your facilities. And who are you? Sir, the President of the United States needs to use your facilities. Now, where are they? Down the hall, down the hall. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Out the door, out the door! Out the door, out the door! Wait, 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 wait. Is, is, is that really? Sir, the President appreciates your cooperation. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. The President on our pissoir? <laughs> I mean, I've heard of White House leaks, but this is fantastic. Is, is, is he really? I mean, is he really? Sir, we're having a situation. Yeah. Are you having a situation or a stand ovation? <laughs> I'm, just joking. I'm joking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's so incredibly exciting. It's, it, is there anything? Is there anything I can do? Can I help? I don't think so, sir. Oh, okay. No, I'm, of course, of course. I'm sure, he has everything in hand. <laughs> stand back, sir. Okay. Mavis, Mavis. I have something to tell you. Don't tell me you sold the hotel. You have a very special guest using your bathroom. Really? Who is it? I'll give you one guess. OK. You're not the boss, I'm not the boss, but he is definitely the boss. <laughs> no! Yes! No! no! Don't tell me Springs is in my bathroom! Oh, my god! Oh, my God, Bruce is here. The boss is here. Oh, wait. Wait, how do I look? He can't see me looking like this. I look like a dog. No, where's my man. lipstick at? Where's my lipstick? Mavis, 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 Mavis. When I oh, said the boss, lipstick? I actually oh, mean... I just, where's my lipstick? I mean, oh, that's a temper. That's a temper. I'm going to be all E. Hello, y'all. I am Mavis Ray. I run the Hotel Le Mans, where the very rich and very famous come to stay and play. Miss Ray, are you a supporter? Oh, yes, child. I'm his biggest fan. <laughs> Why did he come in here? Has he stayed here before? Well, you know, a good hotelier does not kiss and tell, girl. Are you intimating that you've had an affair with the president? Well, I wouldn't say affair per se. I... <laughs> the who? The president. Excuse me. <laughs> Bush is in my can? That's what, that, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The president is here in your toilet now. Well, go get him out. Oh, yeah, right. An Iranian immigrant telling the president to go. You know? Why? Why don't they just run around the airport and shout, Ya Jihad! Holy war! Holy war! Fine. I will go get him out of there myself. I can't believe he's in there doing to my bathroom what he's done to the economy. Don't leave it, leave it. here to answer any questions. My name is Mavis Mavis, Mavis, don't they have guns, please. Uh, the president would like to thank Miss Ray for the use of her hotel. Miss Ray, I'd like to thank you for the use of your hotel. <laughs> That's original. Stand back. Don't shoot me for the love of God! Aren't you the Mavis Ray who sang Don't Hide Love? Yes, I am. Boy, that was a good song. Uh-uh, uh-uh, it was a great song. You know, we used to play the ranger games. Don't hide love, a six-pack of Dos Equis, a plate of nachos. Woo, doggies. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> Look, let me... How'd that song go again? That was, uh, it was, a uh, Don't hide love. Love, oh, my baby. Don't, then there's the instrumental go. Do let's, uh, do let's, do let's, do let's, do let's, do let's, do let's, do let's. Okay, okay, I'm going. Listen, Miss Ray, as far as I'm concerned, you're a national treasure. How about a picture? Let's go, let's go! That's right. Let's go, let's go, That's guys. Right. Here we go. Thank you. Mr. President. Mr. President, what do you want? Thank you. Mr. President. And don't even think about coming back. <laughs>